these teams, and it really could be any lane. AHQ known to camp bottom, but top and mid just as likely. And head over to Twitter and update your picks for this semifinal. You know the deal at LOL Esports using either hashtag EDG win or hashtag AHQ win. We are about to get on to the rift. It has been a long day in AHQ. Would Mike to like to make it longer for you with some wins of their own here in this best of five series game point for EDG in the semifinals of the midseason invitation. Slow yeah, movement yeah. in here from EDG. That war did see them a little bit ago, but not the full team moving through here. So Def was only one seeing places. Oh. Let's see what they can get out of this. Gonna go and stop the Grump. HQ haven't spotted them yet. There's a ward being placed. That's gonna be a flash at least. And a gold and. card right on the end. Whoa. The body slam as well. Down he goes. First blood for Deft. Hey, clear left gets the first jungle camp. Top right now, and you do have a pushed up Ziv waiting for that Narbar to go down. He starts oh. to make a move. Minions will see him out early. This might be a bounce over the head here. Which way is Ziv gonna go? It looks like he wants to take the dangerous road, and he already oh. took aggro from a hit on Decoro. Then start a dragon fight because your Urgot is so much stronger, and then swap him simply to mid lane after or top, even if you want another out of turret. For now, you just keep ganging for Coral. For Coral because, well, nobody's there to help Ziv. The second hop doesn't do much there, and Ziv's gonna go down right away. Doesn't get the bounce off the minions from what I could see. For gang in the bottom lane, they might try and go for a dive here. They have walk down for teleport. TP comes in as well, Mountain gets the knock up one more time on a death flash done. Will land an Urgot, counter TP in from early, but in comes Westor, looks for Mako. Giant two man, Naro gets one, it's gonna get two. There's the two kills picked up. In court, and I mean, why not just go kill the Nargan? There may be a lot of wards on the bottom side of the map, but that is not where EDG is right now. The Destiny on to Ziv one time after the oh, other. Hold they up. keep going back. Koro tanks out one more shot. He'll be all right with 200 HP. We started to roam down. Now he lost his mid tower, so EDG can even start warding in the lane and spot where the Fizz is moving around the mid here. Mountain, though, he's looking for that one gank. Once again, can he knock up? Yep. Oh, one time. Again, he does it. Twice for Mountain. He could be going down though a little too close to the turret. Daft is bleeding. He gets hit up as well just at the end by Albus. And it looks like they throw him to safety. Oh! He may be able to take out Anne as well. Transcendent Blades wears off, or Transcendent Blades, I should say, as they're on Anne. It's still a triple kill as Mako comes in with the. EDG has just become more confident in their engagements each game. A very leveled game to game two where they exploded a little bit past 20 minutes and now right out of the gate, seven to three. That 4,000 gold lead and Koro, he could probably 2v2 or 2v1 this situation without too much of a problem. Getting thrown back into the wall. He does get assistance from Clearlove. Oh! Albus coming from the side though. He flashes just out of range. Albus has no help to give in this fight and a double kill as Clearlove is there just in time. EDG has so many ways of pushing him down. Twisted Fate as well does so much Ooh. damage to the powers. Albus, <laughs> yeah. Well, that happened. That's going to happen again and again, by the way, because yep. this jungle is going to be warded up by EDG. Let's see what Westar can do. He's on a ward. Oh, might be lunchtime. Gets chum the waters out onto Pawn. He will be able to get that follow-up damage. Trickster does not hit. Koro to come in now. Another 2v1 situation. He is loving it with his back against the wall here. That is how he is thriving in this game, and the team is always just steps away. Gate comes in. Not even going to need it. Troll a lull to Pawn. Up that kill participation, please. The oh! flash from Elvis. Bit of a miss there. That engagement is now down for AHQ as they kind of stretch themselves thin for this one and it may not work out in the end. Death from over the wall, able to pick up a kill with the assist to three here in AHQ again for their troubles are turned back to their base. Man, Edward Gaming just getting everything going their way and poor AHQ can't catch a break. The flash terror's dodged away, now mid lane getting sieged. EDG have so many long range tools and even the threat of a dive as well, 17 minutes in. Mid lane tier two just getting destroyed. Koro into the back line already. Where else would he be? He gets Lantern back up, but Westor is a fish on a hook, and down he goes. Koro one is godlike, walks away safely, and down goes the turret. Well, so that's the game plan for Edward Gaming. Strength control over Baron. Take the bow for the next, I'm gonna guess one minute it's gonna die. And then 
an easy push in from there with all the range champions they've got. Meanwhile, AHQ just so far back. You mentioned earlier, watch out for face check. How about just one person? How about just Koro? Flashes in, looks for Ann. The dodge comes in, still takes him out. And now Pond joins the fray. Ziv is not going to be making R for a while. Hops off of Albus's head, short as he may be on Annie. And there's a flash away from the support. But a lantern comes oh. in to pick up oh. even more. Edward Gaming crushing AHQ. So it's HQ has to try and no different. They're going for it again. Try and go for some kind of steal. I mean, that's the only way for you back in the game now. Oh, not gonna happen. And now Ziv's gonna try to run away, but the flay is gonna land on one. The hook onto the other. Mountain can't even get over a wall, and that's gonna be four kills picked up in a row plus the Baron for Edward Gaming. Full control on everything. HQ tried to set up a trap top lane. Core really showed that. Uh, he wasn't going to fall for that. He was ready to fight. And now Westor. Really hard for AHQ to fight back at all at this point. You can see Anne is pretty much throwing pebbles at people with that hurt. Oh, pickaxe. man. He gets grabbed in. He won't be throwing too much. Sticks and stones go at him from the side of EDG, and he goes down. It is now going to be the inhibitor turret. 22 and a half minutes in. The dragon is alive if they want to go and get that on the way out, but it looks like they should be able to grab the inhib as well. Cora wants more. And maybe they'll even just grab Albus on the top of this one. Oh. Down goes the Annie legendary. Pointing back to his team. Uh oh. Just oh. Going, oh. He's in here, guys, by the way. He just wants to go home. All right, let's all chase Westor. Who gets the kill? No, he's going to get out. Oh? Oh, that recall, though. Hi, it's Mako. <laughs> All right. Through. Buying some time. Darn, I was wrong. Buying some time. All right, time. good. That kill did go to Koro. He's keeping up. Still only down five. Going to keep that KP stat as high as he possibly can on Aurelia, but two yeah. inhibs down. And just getting a bunch of farm, trying to just clear out some of these minion waves, trying to run away. Koro over the wall, just fearless now for Edward Gaming. Every a great hook one. catches Mountain. Rek'Sai in a really bad way here. In comes the rest of the team through the lanterns. 22 to 3. Death flashing <laughs> forward for a swap. Can't quite send Sending a hand. message. Sending a message. That's Sending right. a message. Absolutely. The, the zoning flash. The zoning flash. I like it. We'll see what they can do to stop these Nexus turrets from going down. It seems quite inevitable at this point, gentlemen. A four-man NAR swipe just causes EDG to backpedal a little bit, even more than I would think. Pawn, however, coming back in is the aggression that they need. The Fates call to try and save Albus. And at 10 HP, Westor oh. at 100 and now zero. And it looks like EDG will have the base. Game three in their eyes in just a few more minutes here. But they may not have the waves to finalize the game yet as they just skirmish throughout. AHQ's base. Koro stops the wrinkle. He's got teleport. He can heal back up, but who even cares as more kills come through? This one, though, Koro misses out on. Now down six of his team's kills, but either way, it's getting better and better. Edward Gaming going to take this series three to zero. They're headed to the finals. Very well played matchup by Edward Gaming. Both teams coming out.